Heck yeah. Oh, had a little stutter there for a second. I'm going to dump everything I'm carrying into the barrels here and see if I can get some more items. Oh, I only dumped the cannonballs. I didn't dump my food and stuff. I will do that now and then come back and load up. What's that? Oh, yep. You can indeed. Just like the firebombs. I see another brig out on the seas. And I see the swirl for the flame heart. It's probably taken over by a crew though. In the cannonballs. Yeah, let's drop trow. All right, we'll take one pass by the flame heart. We'll hail them first, see if it's players. Before we jump off and get our boat sunk again.
Oh, the one that we're passing? There are a couple spots that they're grouped up like that. Yeah, you might be right. I do remember getting into a battle with another ship and uh, sailing in between rocks like that to uh, get me some angle. Yeah, you saw it from a distance instead of sailing right next to it. One of the two. There are some differences though with the skull forts in that. You've noticed that. <laughs> that happens a lot on the dinghy, but I've never seen that on a bigger ship like this. Gonna hit that beach. I think that brigantine is trying to catch us. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're chasing us. Yeah, at our five o'clock. Nah, they started keying towards us while we were back at the port. Yeah, I think he broke off when he realized there was no catching us. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it does.
Yeah. But slowly getting farther and farther back there. All right, I see the flame heart out in the distance. Like actual visual on the boat. Yep. Yeah, that's a mermaid shrine. And actually, that's what they hunt. Um, once you get the flame heart, you have to go to the mermaid shrines to get, yeah, to get, I guess it's a new curse or something if you complete them all while you're on the flame heart. It's like an outfit. Yep, I see it. Something green. It's a skull. And something else. It might be. Yeah, that's a ship sail. It's a sloop. Alright, I see the flame on top of the flame heart now. I don't know. But get out your mega horn. See if we can contact them. I think they might be active. Yep, these are skellies. Oh yeah, we are going down. Mm -hmm. And there's a Meg. Did you see that? Was that another player on our boat? I think that was a player. Oh my god, there's another boat. <laughs> no. No, they were that was players. That was players on that. 
But dude, wait till you see this recording. Like, we launched that boat into the air. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know how we launched him in the air. Yep. Guess what we found here, though? A crack. And... <laughs> God, like that last session. No, we just found a... a Yeah, we got the harpoon dinghy. Oh, there's loot on shore here, too. Over at the boat's uh, 7.30, maybe? Seven thirty would be behind the boat. Yeah, it's on the beach, kind of the way the harpoon dinghy is pointing. It looks like a crate. No. In fact, this island is a good island for that stuff. Especially since we just lost the cannonballs and stuff we were carrying. Oh, but this dinghy that we have has uh, full loot in the back. Full items in the back. You know the storage in the back of the dinghy? Whenever you find a dinghy, it's got stuff in the back. Whenever you spawn with one, it's empty. No. So if you go look in that storage on the back of the dinghy right now, it's got stuff in it. Alright, I'm going to take this ammo crate and put it up into the crow's nest. For the snipey snipe. I think it's full. I don't think I've ever found one that wasn't. Yeah, it's full. Oh, this is also a good island to check in the bay, underwater, and on underwater around the outside. Because it often has treasures down there too. Or mermaid statues. Yeah, dude, wait till you see my recording. When we ram that ship, like, they flew in the air. <laughs> we launched them out of the water. I don't know if it was a combined thing between us and Meg or... Haha, -ha, speaking of... I got something shiny underwater outside the... On the outside of the island. Oh, man. <laughs> What's this? Treasure chest? One that you can open. Which I think is just called a treasure chest. Well, like, you know, the other ones have, like, you know, the seafarers or sea... Yeah, seafarer's chest and all of those. Captain's chest and all that. This one is just a treasure chest.
All right, I'm going to bring it back to the boat before I resume running around the outside. So I went to the 3 o'clock of our ship to the outside of the island there. Just so, like, if you go search the outside of the island, too. And then I went north from there. I went right on the beach. Yeah, the uh, cave is kind of in the center of the island. <laughs> Yum, how many herbs and spices does that have? <laughs> you can also get snake on this island. You know, I think this island used to have all three. Like, I think there are pigs here, too. Or there used to be. I don't see any now, though. Oh, yeah. So our dinghy has 12 cannonballs. Uh, 23, 29. Ooh, it's got a... I'm going to swap out a pomegranate for that pineapple. It's got four flamey pots, 13 planks, and I'm going to take the firework. All right, I'm going to go resume my search around the perimeter. Oh, is that another crate? Negative. Yeah, you are right about there being a lot of chickens here. Yes, there are a bunch of snakes here too. Like Indiana Jones, I hate snakes. In this game, at least. Oh, what what crate is this? Fireworks crate. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Man, there's a little colony of chickens right behind the boat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It really does. All right, continuing my search around that three o'clock side of the boat. No. Yep. Speaking of, man, I'm kind of uh, excited for that 
uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Made by the Wolfenstein people. Yeah, I already saw Deadpool on my birthday. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, best Marvel movie in quite some time. Yeah, with the new captain. Because it's not Chris Evans anymore. Isn't it the guy that's going to be the win that was the Winter Soldier or whatever? But I did like in Deadpool when he saw Chris Evans and he's like, dude, Cap! Thinking it's Captain America. <laughs> it's Chris Evans as the Fantastic Four. <laughs> as Johnny... a skull. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think it is Falcon. Yeah, isn't he also like a uh, part of the X-Men? Oh, and Oh, that, that drops a little high. How do I get down from here? Oh! Oh, no, I can't cannon myself with loot in my hand. Never mind. Is the drop not so high from right here? Well, I can survive this one, but I still don't want to get hurt. Alright, so I made it all the way to the opposite side of the island from the boat, searching the shoreline so far. So I guess from here, oh, skellies. These ones just rose right when I was on the beach near our boat. Alright, so since I made it halfway around the 3 o'clock side, I'm going to go to the 6 o'clock side, or 9 o'clock side this time, and run around. So the chest now has two skulls and a decorative coffer in it. It had the other two already. <laughs> I just put one skull in it. Yeah. Yeah, but now it's something to lose if we encounter another ship, too. Yep. Oh, are you up on the peak in front? Yep, I see you up there. Alright, I'm going to check the outside over here. See what we got. Alright. 
right, nothing in the water right here. I'm gonna keep running this shoreline till I get to the opposite side of the island, and then I'll uh, come back. I'm slightly surprised you didn't find any treasure in the cave. I'll go check, because when you're that close, it doesn't glint. So you got to use... Yeah, that's what I say. When you're that close, if there was loot in the cave, it's not going to glint. You have to use, like, your lantern or something. I see glints on the beach. Oh, this might be the skeletons you encountered, I think. Yeah, it's ammo bags. There, I picked them up so they won't glint at us anymore. Make me think we got loot when it's just an ammo pouch. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to see their boners. I'm hearing a mermaid statue. I found it. It's a blue one. Almost got this mermaid statue. There it goes. Just one gem, cheap bastard. Alright, so keep heading north along the beach here towards the sunset, kind of. See what else you can find. I'm heading back to the boat with this gem. How were players firing off that many cannonballs at us? They must have had a couple of ships worth of people on there. Because, like, they were firing at us like crazy. Remember, check in the water, too. Like, I heard the mermaid statue before I checked in the water over there, but... Oh, I think I know why it's actually recording now, because I'm not using HDR. Otherwise, this jam would be damn near blinding me.
Pineapple, yes please. All right. Where are you at? I'm right by the boat in the water. I see you, yep. <laughs> yes, but is it ill-tempered? Nope. Lighten up the downstairs torches with purple. Oh yeah, our pets. Dude, that would have been so awesome. That makes me laugh every time. Yeah, this server's pretty loaded up tonight, too. Yep. Alright, we're headed to the port over here, sell off what we got.
Then we'll go for a ghost port or something. Or actually, I see one of those red flames over at our, uh, what's that, 7.30? In fact, I see uh, a brig off in the distance there. Looks like they're at uh, Fort Merrick. We're almost to the port that we're headed to here. We're gonna head for the Sovereign's Tower where we can dump it all. Looks like that's on the opposite side of the island from us. Yeah, we haven't seen him since he got hired. Oh, there's a wreck. It's bow up above the water over there. At our two o'clock. Like damn close. No birds over it though. If you start cruising past it, you might want to drop that anchor. I found a skull already. And a king's chest. We got loot. Another skull. I think I'm hearing a shark already, but I don't see it. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was too close to the island. So far, that's it for loot. I'm on the first bottom deck. I'm going to head to the lower deck and see what we have down there. Explosive barrel. A staff and a gem. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing a shark now. But I still haven't laid eyes on him. Alright, that looks like it for down here. heading out. So go ahead and hook me on board as soon as uh, you see me come up here. Awesome. Alright, let's head to port. Oh, did you drop it?
All right, so where was that brigantine that was at Port Merrick? I'm not seeing it there right now. Yep. We're headed to the Sovereign's Tower over there at our... We're pretty close. I'm keeping my eye out for that brigantine, hoping that they're not trying to roll up on us. All right, so get the loot off of the dinghy up onto the front of the boat here. I'm gonna use the harpoon here to uh, pull all the loot onto the little platform. Yeah, I think there is one more, too. Okay. Oh, oops. I pulled the thing up. I didn't know it was already down. Yeah, for what, how little we did from there.
all from the island we spawned on and that one wreck we found just before getting to the port here. All right, we're going to head to that flame next. Oh, is the flame no longer active? What do you mean, sailing away from the island we hit the shore? Yeah, that is a little weird. Ah, uh, there's the flame. I see it. We're going to thread the needle to get to the flame. On the back of the boat, I think. Explosive barrels, something green and something yellow. Damn, almost level 80 in gold hoarders now, too. So that flame is dead ahead. As soon as we see the island toast, go ahead and raise sails. I forget what island this is. That is a cool cat, though. Oh shit, and after this flame, I see a ghost fort over at our 3 o'clock. And then we'll head back to port. Looks like there's a sunken ship at our 9 o'clock. I just see the birds, though. Yeah, let's raise sails. <laughs> you know what, maybe we should uh, pull around the far side of the island to kind of hide the boat some. Oh, I think maybe these are the forts that the... Oh, so maybe we need the flame heart to open that center one we weren't able to open. Because it has the flame heart symbol on that little... Um, that little fabric roof right over there. Do you see that? 
Yeah, just like the way that the flame heart has the flame. Yeah, and see uh, that little tower right there? See, it's got the flame heart symbol on that little fabric roof. All right, raising this sail. There's treasure on the beach. Two crates. Oh, and there's a uh, z skeleton with an explosive barrel right there. In the water, you see him? Yeah, you stole his barrel. I saw that. No, I don't want that either. See if you can hook those crates. Oh, there's a skeleton captain. Do you need me to turn more to have angle on that other one? Three, three o'clock. Oh, I'll bet you that's actually a, a key master or whatever. Good shooting. All right, I'll give you angle on that key master and then I'll run ashore and start fighting him. No, it is a captain. Oh. Well, there we go. Captain Brave Dave Stevens. Got him. All right, here's a skull. All right, now there's a treasure to dig up here. Oh, there's another crate. Another ammo crate. See it there? I dropped it on the shore. There are snakes all over this island. I hear another skeleton. Oh, he's got an explosive barrel. Oh, is this a good one? Is this one of the captain's barrels? Or the stronghold barrel? No. Oh shit, I fell in the water. Is he running back around to get to me? He is. Oh, that just about killed me. I'm still alive, though. Yeah, he was pretty close. He ran right around the corner, and it was already lit. And I was in the water, so I'm not going very fast. I'll find a barrel so I don't have to eat my pineapple right now. That's a cannonball barrel. Hey, enchanted balls. Well, an enchanted ball. Oh, you scared me. Yeah, better than none. Here we have bone collar. Two of them.
in order to pick them up, I had to dump a couple of flame belt, um, fire bombs. I don't know if you'd want to come and grab them from that barrel I was just at. You can stick them in the uh, cannonball barrel on the boat. Three more scatter shot. I'm hearing skellies. Wow, I climbed all the way up that tower. On that dock on the front of the island, or south end of the island. Yeah, that's Flameheart's crew. That's what the skellies look like when you find them on the boat. And I should have paid attention that that skeleton that I saw on the boat was not a black one. It was a white skeleton. Should have noticed that that was a player then. Oh, uh... Right here. Right here. Another fire pot in the barrel that I'm at. You see where I am right over here? This little pot right here, or this little barrel, has another flame bomb in it. All right, I'm going to find my way into the tower. All right, I found it. Yep. It's funny, I have a purple flame when I light these two to open this up. They're not purple. All right, riding the elevator down. Oh, that's right. Uh, I could actually use your help turning while I light up the stars. I'll send the elevator back up when I hit the bottom. Yeah, we're on the outside of the map, so yeah, absolutely. But we are on the outside of the map, so that's less likely here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just make sure we're clear. So the periphery treasure rooms look like we're looking at uh, the fish, the arrow, yeah, I just activated it. 
It's uh, at the tower that's in the center. The fish, the arrow, the falcon. Is that it? Just three of them? Yeah, it looks like just three of them. Fish, arrow, and falcon. Alright, let's see if I can light any up from where I'm at. Turtle. Falcon. Okay, here we go. Falcon's open. Which one was the falcon? Final one. Here we go. Just a bunch of piles of gold. Alright, Falcon's done. Arrow and a fish. Whichever one I find next. Turtle. Owl. Fox. What is that? Is that the fish? Alright, I need it, yeah, either left or right, because it's behind the pillar from me. A little more. Can't quite get the front of it yet. Alright, I should be able to get it now. Oh, it just spun back. Alright, fish is open. Is that one right up here? Nope. Oh, there's an explosive barrel down here. Yep. Just grab. Ooh. Barely got all that gold before it closed. Alright, so the last one is the arrow here. Is this the arrow? No. I think I found the arrow. Good. It's open. Go ahead and grab it. Kind of near where that fish was. Yeah. I'm on it. Oh, no, we gotta open it again. I didn't get the last gold. Here, you stay here, or unless you wanna light up that arrow again. Yeah, exactly. So you grab onto it, and then you use, uh, I think it's the shoot trigger. There you go. And now hit the arrow. There you go. And then the tip. The three stars there. There you go. All 
Alrighty. That's that. I think that's all of them. Yep. That's what I'm thinking too. I mean, we can try again, but it didn't seem to work out for us. Yeah, and I really am starting to think we need the flame heart to open this one up. Oh, wait. There's a feather. One. Come stand right where I am. See where I am up on the edge over here? Oh, is this something that I can light up? Yeah, go ahead and come up here. There's a feather one up here. Alright, you hang out here. I'll find the feather and light it up. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit. Uh-oh. Fell off the pedestal. Alright, let's see if that's enough. Oh, did I turn it too much? I think I did turn it too much. There we go. Did it open? Well, I got it lit up. Yeah. No, it should be. I don't know. Let me know when it starts to close. I'll light it up again and I'll run up and see if I can get it. All right, there we go. All right, I'm coming up. Yep. This one's bugged. That sucks. Oh well. Let's head out of here. They're fun to shoot off. Did 
There are uh, flare beacon ones. All right, I'm waiting at the elevator when you're ready. What? Setting off a barrel there? Of course you can. <laughs> Go flying through the air or something maybe? Yep. They're good at that. Uh oh. Sounds like we got company. I see him. Alright, we have a map for- oh, here's the one with a barrel. I'll get ya. Oh, yeah. Where's our ship? Oh, I found it. All right, so. I think the treasure we're looking for is like right here. Senor one shovel. Storage crate. Yay. I mean, they're awesome. They've got loot, but we can't sell them. Yeah, we'll take a look when we get it on the boat. I'll put it under the bell in front of the center mass. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, cursed cannonballs. There's some shark. There's some chicken, some snake, some raw chicken. Yeah. And I put that, uh, the bottom cannonball, the cursed one, venom ball, I put that in there. That was the one I found on the island. You can carry all the cursed ones if you want. That way you have them ready when we get into a combat. Alright. Let's uh, head out and check that sunken wreck. Yeah, hover over it before... Oh, you can't hover over it. Well, I guess you can move it to that block and then see what it is. So a sleep ball, a venom ball...
Yeah, put venom balls in your mouth. Venom would like that too. <laughs> he just might not want to eat your head. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what happens with the Secret Wars movie if Spider-Man's going to get his black suit. That would be dope to have the Marvel Universe version of Venom. Yeah. Oh shit, go ship. No, it's Meg. Never mind, it's Meg. Just be quiet. You're pretty, Meg. You're pretty, Meg. Oh, the flame heart is up for grab again. Yes. No, I think because it starts under the red tornado. The, you know, the old red tornado? Oh, by the way, where is that sunken ship at? Did we pass it? No, we're almost on it. Drop that anchor. We're passing it. I'll raise sails. <laughs> Slightly behind the ship now, I think. Oh, was it just barrels? It wasn't a sunken ship? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, maybe. That's a bummer. Alright, well let's raise the anchor, spin around, see what we can see. Oh, that is weird. See if it's down below you. That is weird. I've never seen floaty barrels get a name. All right, I'm turning around. I'm turning around. Okay. Yeah, I'm here in the mag. Yeah, I've never seen barrels floating above a wreck before. That's a first for me too. Yeah, I've never seen barrels with a name. I wonder if shooting the harpoon will get Meg's attention. Well, Meg went away. I'm not hearing the music anymore. All right, where are those barrels at? Yeah, did I, I did go past them. Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm on the wreck. Alright, yeah, this one, I might be drowning by the time I get shit out. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was our ship. <laughs> Alright, nothing in the captain's quarters. I gotta come up for air.
Oh, I got hit by a shark. Going back in and then I'll eat. Oh, I'm hearing Meg now. Firework crate. Maybe we should not use it. I'm seeing uh, a skull. I got two sharks in the water going back into the wreck. All right, Meg went away. Oh, hello, shark. Oh, yeah, that might happen to me. Making a run for the boat. Holy shit, I made it to the boat. Alright, so both those items are right off the bow. Check in the lower deck. Oh man, so we got a couple of staffs, a chest, and it looks like a gym. be lucky if I make it to the boat without getting hit by the shark. Nope, he hit me. Whew, I'm out of the water. Nope. There's another staff, a gem, and I think a chest down there. Like, this wreck is loaded compared to the last one. At least there was floating fruit in it, too. I'm going to grab coconut here. Yeah, a gem, a staff, another skull, and a chest. And it looks like maybe another skull, too. Making a run for the boat. Hopefully I don't get hit by the shark this time. Made it. Is that? Oh, uh, did you drop a barrel? <laughs> I saw it sinking. It tripped me out. Yeah. All right, grabbing the gem. I'm already drowning. Oh shit, where's the boat? There it is. I just dropped it. I was looking for the boat before I dropped it. Oh, 
Alrighty, I need to eat. Good night. I'm eating some fish. Hold on. Well, look. See the fish? I ate its head. <laughs> it was cooked. And there's a shark right on me. Yeah, it was cooked. I would love to. Alright, I'm going for the chest. Okay, I was wrong. It was a coconut, not another skull. I'm going to come for the surface again as soon as I'm out. Yep, I see him. I'm coming for the ship's ladder. Hopefully I make it before the sharks get me. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> All right, last item. Last item is down there. Yep, going for it now. Well, I mean, if I'm really crazy about going deep, I can check the top of the crow's nest. There's sometimes loot there too. I might make one more run just to see. That one will probably mean the death of me. I'll probably get hit by sharks on that trip. Alright, where's the boat? There it is. Dropping the loot, coming for the surface. Making for the ladder again. Alright. One last dive, I'll check the crow's nest. I don't know if there's anything there, but we'll see. Yeah, I've sometimes found good chests in there. Nope, it's empty. Oh, and these sharks are right on me. I'm probably going to get hit before I make it to the ladder. Oh, are you kidding me? I made it. Hell yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and... Oh. We've got another ship out there. Looks like a ghost ship. A sloop. Uh, 10 o'clock. It's now behind, yeah, I was about to say, it's now behind some rocks. There it is. I can see it again from where I'm at. All right, so we're headed for the ghost fort that's almost dead ahead of us. 11 o'clock. We did indeed. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Well, we also saw something else new when we sent the flame heart flying through the air. You'll have to see that in my recording. You'll have to see that in my recording. It's, yeah, it's straight, man. <laughs> like, it was sideways in the air, too. And it was like at least the width of its keel out of the water. Like, that thing caught some air. And I think it's because they fired at us with cannons while Meg was in the water, so Meg went and hit them, and then we hit them, and then the combined collision put them in the air, I think.
Yeah, I don't know. When I loaded up the, uh, the new features one, I forget what they call it, preview edition, the crew I was with had already captured it, so I didn't get to go through capturing it. I had just rode on it with them. So that's with a crew of players that they play a lot. And I've played with them for like, it seems like 10 years now, but I think it's only been like 8 or something. <laughs> but yeah, I was back in this game when we only had two weapons. Before they added the blunderbuss, the double barrel pistol, the throwing knives. I was there when all we had was a pistol and a s and before the sniper rifle too. I was there when all they had was a pistol and a sword. And the only wep enemies to fight was skeletons. Yep, the fort. Yep. See all the green lights? Oh, that's going to be close. Oh, that hit our mast. It didn't knock it down, though. Oh, that's going to hit deck. That hit one of our animals. All right, we're about to hit. Go kill this pirate or this ghost. There we go. Do you need help with those holes? Oh, the ghost ship's going behind us. All right, you're going to need to stay on the boat there. We got the ghost ship's attention too. Yes, they were right behind the boat. They'll probably travel around the island and come at you again. You know what, let's get the loot on the dinghy. Oh, you might be right, it does kind of look like they're sailing away. Yeah, better safe than sorry. The ghosts. Nope. I cleared the first round of ghosts using the cannon. Well, I had to sword one of them. All right, I'll come and get you up. Oh, they killed me. I'm not getting you up. <laughs> Your cat's all meow. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I wonder if we can get a another um, flame color. Purple. Heck yeah, now we can look like a ghost ship. You take care of the ghosts, I'll set the flame. We'll keep the downstairs ones all purple. We'll keep the very back one purple. I'll put green on the front too. Yeah. I dropped the anchor because we were going too fast. Oh, you got shots on him now. Ow. I'll make sure the wheel's centered. Alright, there you go. Found treasure chest. I'll take it inside and drop it near the downstairs vault. Okay. Opening the porticuli. Yep, I opened up that gate so we can get to that vault easier. Good shot. All right, I'll keep you covered here. They're not coming yet. Here they come. Here they come. they come. Right, I think that's that wave.
Okay. They're coming out. Oh, they knocked me all the way out past the boat. Yep, I see him up near the food barrels. There was one. All right, we should be getting close to the captain. Oh yeah, this might be the captain. They're coming out. Yeah, it's the captain. He's dead. I got the bottom key. You start looking for the top one. Oh yeah. Yeah, leave that nest leave that next to the chest down below. Don't put it in it though because we might find another skull that's better put in there. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> He's salty. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Almost looted the bottom loot.
You okay? I did find a better skull. Yeah, that explosion was a little bigger than you thought, huh? <laughs> I heard boom, bam, bam. <laughs> like at least three barrels went off there. So the, I'll take one more look, but I think the bottom vault's now empty. Alright, we have looted the bottom vault. I'll start looking for the key for the top. Not much longer. Bill has to go after we hit the next port. you empty or you come into is cleared. Looks like you already opened up that one. What's in here? Silvered cup. that's this floor done except for outside I think I see it oh no there's a skull Looked like there was another item in one of the chests up there. Found it. Yep.
that it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, you placed it on top of the uh, harpoon. Right, so I think I see the port towards the storm. Alright, let's go ahead and drop trowel. I think we can uh, reverse the sails too. Oh wait, is that port closer? And it's not in the storm, but it's dead into the wind. We'll go, I think it's closer, we'll go there. I'm gonna go to the right side of this island, get us better wind. Aw, oh, shit. Crazy mermaid taxi time. Oh, no. That's not good. Coming to give you cover from sharks. Yeah, I don't see any other ships around. I think we'd be all good to just leave the loot on the front. That way we can harpoon it from the Sovereign's Tower. Uh oh. Still shark free. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Well, I was able to hit that anchor pretty quick. Yep. Excuse me. Uh, 
Oh, that was a weird spot you dropped that Titan when you got shot by that ghost. Yeah. Alright, we can reverse the sails. Oh, the one that you grabbed from that skeleton. All right, we're headed towards Sovereign's Tower. Oh, we're getting close. I think you might be looking at the one at Port Merrick. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're still a little ways out. And we're going directly into the wind, so we're going slow. Oh, get on that harpoon. We're going slow, so you should have off to the right. going pretty slow, you should have a chance to grab something here. Nah, it's on the other side of this wave crest. There's a staff in there. And something gold. Looks like a chalice or something. You going for it? Alright, I'm raising sails. Yeah, I'm raising the sails. I'll come get you. Pull it up to the surface. I'll come get you with the dinghy. I see another player out in the distance. All right. I'll start harpooning us into the... Uh, yeah, bring the staff back. Grab the staff. It's worth more. Yeah, me too, kind of.
without getting chomped. Alright, so there's a staff and a skull that are behind the harpoon. I can't hook them up. And it looks like there's something behind. Oh! I got it. I think I got it all. Uh, we can't sell that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if there's fireworks in there... Oh, the barrel. Yeah, get the barrel. And actually, if you pull the fireworks out of the storage crate, I drop the fireworks crate right in front of the Sovereign. I'll put all the fireworks I'm carrying into it in there, too. We got two fireworks crates. Dude, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, grab them from out of the um, cannon barrels on the boat too. No, it's cannonball crates have the fireworks. Yeah, they're in the storage crate too, I think. <laughs> all right, I dumped all the fireworks I had into one crate. You dump all the ones you have into the other crate and sell it. there's anything in there, yeah, I'll check it. Yep, that's all of them. So yeah, the fireworks crate's right in front of the uh, Sovereign. Dump everything you got in there and then sell it. Yep, 
Yeah. Looks like the flame heart's headed towards it. All right, let's wait for this loot drop to finish. What the heck did you just fire out? Oh, there it is. <laughs> to me, it looked like it just kept going into the sky. Thirty. Okay. Hey, we leveled up Sunday night sales to twelve. That's it. I think that's all the loot drops. Yeah, the cat. I'm trying to find the fox now. Is he below deck? Oh, we had two storage crates. What's on the front storage crate? Oh, no fireworks. Did you find the fox? I definitely see two sloops near each other. One of them it looks like is headed for the flame heart. Fox is. I haven't seen him since, uh, oh, there's a big ghost ship. You see it our, uh, 10 o'clock? Big ghost ship. <laughs> he sounds a little pissed off. Maybe. There we go. I went and grabbed him out of the barrel. Damn, that cannonball went high.
I hear the cat purring. You holding him? Oh, he's right next to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that never gets old. The sloop. Yep, I see him. <laughs> oh, wait, I dropped the anchor. Over by the edge of the storm at our 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Yeah, go ahead. Let's drop sails. Yep. We're not going to get there to fire the fox over him without it. They're quite a ways out still. We're gonna have to skirt the storm to get them. Exactly. I don't think they're moving, I think they're still. That knocked me off the helm. Yep. Looks like the other sloop is over at the uh, flame heart. We got that sloop at 2 o'clock. Load the fox.
Nah, we'll just keep on sailing. I don't want him to chase us and sink us. Yeah, fire at him. Fire the fox over him. Alright, grab the fox. I'll loop around. Or the cat, whichever one you can find. I think the fox is probably near me. Ah, oh, this is great. He's on shore spying us with his spyglass. The big island near us, opposite side. He might be running back for his boat. <laughs> Fox is behind me. Go ahead and grab him again. Yeah, he's on his boat now. He's dropping his sails. <laughs> Get on the opposite side of the cannon. <laughs> fired the cat over him. Alright, we got a leak now. I'm gonna give us wind and go full sail. Oh, ghost ship just came out on him. Yeah, I'm giving us wind and we're going full sail. Oh, this is just such a bad day for him. <laughs> we roll up and he thinks we're attacking him when we're just shooting pets over him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you did fire a cannonball at him, but... But yeah, I fired the cat over him. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Too bad we didn't have a recording angle from his ship. <laughs> anyway, he's getting hit by the ghost ship now. And you know what? I don't see the uh, flame heart anymore. Alrighty, well anyway, I think it's time for you. Yeah, I mean, I love to play all night, but... Yeah, you gotta go. Right on, Bill. Let's uh, get ready to synchronize our cutoff.